This person left a comment under my, I had a lot of people this week leave comments under my three things she's feeling when she ignores you and how to handle it video. So I guess that one's starting to get more attention, which I'm grateful for, all right? So he left a comment under that video and also under my five reasons women need three months to solidify their feelings video. And this guy is clearly one of those guys that's like, hey, it's not fair that women get a pass and men don't and yada, yada, yada. So he says, I understand why you do these videos the problem I have, especially nowadays, is that this gives women a reason to take no responsibility to find a way to control their own emotions, and we live in a victimhood society. Another reason uh, why they adjourn, another reason why, this is under the five reasons women need three months to solidify their feelings. He says another reason why is because the majority of men have to pay for what Chad did to her, meaning like she got ran through and now, and then Chad up and dumped her, and now she's all hurt, so now she's making the next guy wait. Uh, she chose to go after Chad. That's her fault. This is not against you or your channel. Some of this stuff gets really frustrating. So I want to address this because there are a lot of guys that I think are well-meaning, but based on their own negative experience of dating, they come to my channel and they see me talking because I, I talk very positively about women. And I mentioned that, you know, women just have a different way of viewing the world and how they go about dating and thinking about attraction is different than ours. And that, so that means that I feel as though both sexes should be doing a good job of being able to adjust to how the other one, you know, best talks and best uh, communicates. But of the two of you, one of y'all got to start first. And women already know that if they get into a relationship, they're going to, a good woman is going to give you the world. She's going to think about you and what you need at times when you're not even expecting it but she needs to see that you're going to put forth that same effort. So that means coming into their playground and sometimes being able to better understand how they communicate and talk to them and operate in their language. So they say, oh, he actually knows how to deal with women. You know what? Let me start learning about how to deal with him because I think he's going to be a good catch and I want to make sure I, of the woman, do not mess this up, right? But anyway, so it's not that I think that women should, women should take no responsibility. It's just I'm trying to teach you guys that when you do certain things, Women across the board are just going to naturally respond a certain way. In that video, the three things she's feeling when she ignores your video, I talk about the fact that sometimes if she's ignoring this because she spent too much time with you, for example, and she needs time to back away and be with her thoughts and you constantly coming towards her, she's not being allowed that space and time. So now she's ignoring you, hoping that you're not going to take it too personally, but that it's going to allow her to really have time to assess this entire situation. And so you can be mad at women about that, but most women are going to operate that way. Most women are going to need time to not be around you and to not see you, which we'll actually go into a little bit more when I get into about the um, when I get into the whole uh, affectionate withdrawal thing. But yeah, like that's the thing that women across the board are going to do. So as a guy, you have two options. You can be mad about it and complain about it and how and how women should just know off the bat that they want to see me and they shouldn't blah blah. Or you can say, oh, women need time, so let me give them that time. You see how simple that is? Like now I can just say, hey, she needs time to not hear from me. Great. I have to do less texting, less calling. And when I do that, it's, it's going to make her appreciate me and think about me more and then want to be the one to reach out to me. Like guys are fighting because they want to do more stuff. And I'm trying to tell guys, if you do less stuff, you'll get better results. Who would have thought it? Right. But like, yeah. So Again, I'm, it's not taking responsibility away from women because I think that women of their own accord should be learning how men operate and why we want to talk and connect all the time. But this is a men's channel and I'm teaching you guys for the most part. So I have to tell you, hey, this is how women think. This is how they function. This is how they operate. Be mad at the manual or just know this stuff. So when you're out there, you'll make better decisions about what you're doing and how you're reacting, responding to things. And that will inadvertently have women want to be around you a lot longer. Like, I'm sorry, that doesn't always work. I know a lot of guys come to this channel saying, but women should blah, 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 blah. And you know what? I agree. Women should, but many of them early on in the dating process are not until they see that you are putting in effort. So be the one that learns this stuff and know why they're going to potentially pull away so you won't do the thing to make them pull away. And then he says, uh, in response to the five reasons women need three months to solidify their feelings, this whole thing about he's saying basically like women need three months to figure out how they feel about you because the last guy she banged after like a week dumped her and did her wrong. And hey, that is some women's experience. There are some women that have to go through a couple of relationships where they rush in too fast and they get screwed over figuratively and literally before they say, hey, you know what? 
Let me be more patient with the next few guys I date so I won't get hurt. Because you got to think about this, right? Let's say he's right. Let's say that Chad came in date one, night one at a bar they met somewhere, went home, banged her brains out, did that a few times, and then he left, right? Women are giving entrance and access to their bodies in order to learn these lessons. And a woman that is trying to have a straight head on her shoulders and not have too high of a body count is going to know after one or two of these instances, hey, I don't want this to keep happening. Like I met these dudes enter into my body and then they're treating me bad. They're leaving me. They're not treating me the way I need to be respected or whatnot. And that doesn't feel good. And now that person's been inside her and that memory is never going to go away. Like forever and ever, no matter what she does, she let this Chad get inside of her and do stuff. And she doesn't want to feel that with a bunch of guys. She might be a woman. It's like, Hey, I had two situations that were like that. I learned my lesson. So from now on, when I date, Three months across the board for each guy. And that's not even like saying that you have to wait three months for sex. It could just be, I'm going to wait three months for a relationship. Most women will still, after two or three or four good dates, like hook up with you. You know, even someone on a first date still. Even if that's true, you can't not berate her for that. You can't berate her for learning a lesson about when dudes hook up with you too early, they leave. Maybe that's not the best strategy for you. And then they learn from that. Now you're mad at her that you don't get to do the same thing that those other guys did that she had to learn from because those other guys did it and you don't get to. Like, sorry, dude. I just, in my, in my eyes, that's that's not a fair assessment. Like, I want women, I don't want women to be like banging like a plethora of dudes before me. But if she has a couple of guys that that happened with, I want her to be like, you know what? I don't want to do that. And I'm learning because women that are learning means that they're able to like take a situation and be like, oh, I'm part of the problem of the situation. I need to change up how I'm operating in order to get better results. So for these other guys that are coming in, I'm going to be a bit more careful. So again, but, and that goes to, that's an example of a woman that is in fact taking responsibility. So you can't say um, women are taking no responsibility and then be like, but she's only making guys wait because Chad screwed her over. That is her saying, I'm part of the equation. I'm taking responsibility for how I've been operating and I'm going to change that up. So that it is what it is, you know, but hopefully that answers that, that comment. Like it just, you know, I have a lot of guys come on the channel that are, that are all in their feelings and have a really bad, bitter taste towards women. And Hey, I get it. Cause I was there when I was in my early twenties, I was having the worst dating time. I go on dates, women would show interest for a little bit and then they'd go away. Or I found out that they have a crush on me. So I'd express it that I have a crush on them also. And then they go away. And it's very frustrating when it feels like you don't have the keys of what you need to do in order to keep a woman's interest. Like, can I tell her I'm interested without her going away? Or do I have to act like I'm not interested? Do I need to be an absolute a-hole in order to get women? But then I don't want to be an a-hole because it feels weird on my part. But then if I'm not that way, like... Like, I don't want you to have that confusion. So if you're in that situation, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and sign up for a uh, phone call consultation. I'll be happy to help coach you through these very situations. Also, go there for my ebooks. They'll be sure to help you out as well. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.